Hey beauties, it's me again and we are going to make this little guy and more. Some call it a tart wax or a candle melt. Basically, it's a safe way to have your place smelling amazing without lighting up a wick. Plus, it can be a decor accent for your home with a wax warmer. I decided to make my own because I found this cute adorable owl at Target recently. And in the kitchen, turn on your stove to medium heat. I'm using a hot plate to make it easier for me to film and show you guys. Next, fill a shallow amount of water into a cooking pot, about 2 inches will do. While that heats up, you have two ways to make candle melts. Either recycle what is left over from your store-bought candle or make them from scratch. You will need wax, I'm using soy wax. One pound can make about 5 to 8 melts, that's like 120 hours of burn time and candle fragrance oil. One ounce of fragrance oil makes about one pound of candle melts. So to make these adorable shapes, use a baking silicon mold or keep it basic into cubes with an ice tray. So let's start off with the quickest, a store-bought candle. I had some leftover, so gently place it into the boiling water to liquefy. Pair of kitchen tongs or chopsticks to remove the candle wicks. And here's a cleaning tip. Before washing these in hot water and soap, you want to remove as much of the wax with a paper towel because all that wax can clog up your sink. So make sure to remove as much as you can. It makes cleaning a breeze afterwards. I like to pour these into a pitcher. I recommend using a Pyrex cup because there's a spout and it makes it easier to pour into each gingerbread man mold without spilling. So you're going to let this cool in the refrigerator for one hour. While that solidifies, learn how to make it from scratch. I measured out 4 ounces of soy wax, which is about 1 cup if you're using a measuring spoon. Soy wax can only hold a maximum of 9-12 to 12 percent of fragrance oil so you're going to need a little math but it's easy so i have four ounces that's one cup times 12 percent for a maximum scent throw that's going to give me 0.48 which means 0.48 ounces or a half an ounce of fragrance oil or you can measure one tablespoon of the fragrance oil into your spoon the optional part is you can color it with an oil pastel crayon. I shaved a tiny bit because soy wax holds a small amount of color or a few drops of candle dye. Product links are located in the description box. Okay, this is very important. You're going to need a thermometer so you know when to mix and not burn the wax. I'm using an infrared type because this will not touch the wax. It makes it easier on me not to clean up. Like the first part of the video, warm up some water in a pot. I'm using a hot plate so I don't need a pot and I'm just going to stir it with a popsicle stick until it reached about 185 degrees Fahrenheit for the fragrance oil and color to fully dissolve in the wax. Make sure that the wax that you buy to follow the directions on the product melting point. It might be 10 degrees higher or lower than the soy wax that I am using. Keep mixing for 3 minutes then slowly pour into your molds. So all you have to do is take it out of the refrigerator after 1 hour and pop them out. They should be solid. I made a lot, perfect to give for the holidays and I placed a few back into my candle jar. I melted earlier to keep the candle melts fragrance strong. If you make different scents, try not to mix them unless they are individually wrapped in plastic. Mixing too many scents can make an awful smell. Just a tip. 